on behalf of Randox, we thank you for your participation and interest in today's event. Um, we will have a recording of the webinar up online afterwards. Um, and if you have any questions during the webinar, we encourage you to just put them in the chat box um, and we'll try to get to some questions at the end or we are certainly happy to follow up with you um, individually on any further interest. So um, this webinar is a follow up to our first webinar on biochip array technology, and that is Randox's patented technology for chip based multiplex testing. So in the first part of this webinar series, we introduced you to biochip array technology using our more um, manual instruments. In the first part of the webinar series, we spoke about um, our manual instruments, such as the evidence investigator. So today we really want to focus on the fully automated advancements in our evidence series, which enable the same gold standard multiplex testing, but at a higher, more efficient and consistent throughput. Um, to get you familiar with us here at Randox, here is a little bit about us. Randox is the UK's largest diagnostics company. We were established in 1982 and we now manufacture over 4 billion tests annually. It's estimated that 5% of the world's population are diagnosed using a Randox test every year. Um, we played a very important part in the COVID-19 response. We performed over 26 million COVID tests, um, not just around the UK, but on behalf of international governments and organisations. And today we supply over 100,000 laboratories globally. We've now also grown our team to over 2,500 employees um, in over 145 countries. And we now have 800 R&D scientists and engineers who are the ones behind the scenes driving innovation and excellence in our products and what you'll see today, the biochip array technology. So the Randox group includes several product and service categories. Where we first began in 1982, manufacturing um, reagents and quality control over time has expanded into a large portfolio of products, including our RX series clinical chemistry analyzers, toxicology, molecular, food diagnostics, um, point of care, external quality assurance schemes. Um, and what we'll be talking about today are our immunoassays using um, biochip array technology. Um, so this is the real focus of today's webinar. It's the fundamental principle behind our biosciences and toxicology product areas. And it is a patented Randox multiplex technology um, method of analysis. And it's essentially a chip-based immunoassay or molecular assay to detect multiple biomarkers from one single patient sample and it has been regarded as the gold standard in multiplex testing. So biochip array technology, it was um, conceptualized and created in 1992, um, and it has been a big focus of our R&D with um, continuous developments and enhancements to date. We've seen a total investment of 250 million GBP so far. Um, and as we'll see in today's webinar, biochip array technology has evolved from mostly a manual process using uh, the evidence investigator to then fully automated um, processes using some of these um, instruments that we'll talk about today, such as the Evidence Plus, and then even translated into a point of care setting using our Evidence Multistep. Um, but why? Why has biochip array technology been so heavily invested in um, over all these years? Because we believe it has the potential to revolutionise the future of diagnostics and preventative medicine. So rather than focusing on one biomarker of disease or toxicology at a time, biochip array technology allows the detection of a wide range of biomarkers at once and that enables access to a full patient profile from just a single patient sample, um, possibly at a faster, more cost effective, um, in a more cost effective way than traditional immunoassay or um, molecular or toxicology methods that measure 
multiple analytes separately. So what exactly is a biochip then? A biochip itself is a nine by nine millimeter ceramic chip, and this acts as the reaction vessel for your testing. And really it's replacing multiple cuvettes or wells in a 96 well plate. Each biochip is prefabricated with an array of discrete test regions. And these discrete test regions contain immobilized antibodies or complementary oligonucleotide probes. And based on which array you are using, the DTRs will correspond to um, your certain panel of tests. So essentially, the reactions that occur on these biochips are based on um, basic ELISA principles. Each analyte from your sample will bind to its corresponding discrete testing region. The amount of each analyte at each discrete testing region is then quantified by chemiluminescence. And this is a sensitive and specific method that uses light without heat. And the addition of a signal reagent, in our case is luminol peroxidase, is what creates this light output at certain DTRs. And this light output is then captured by a charge coupled device. Um, which is a medical grade camera cooled to minus 50 degrees to minimise any background noise. And this light output is first measured in relative light units, but is then quantified into your desired analyte units in relation to a calibration curve. Biochip array technology uses a couple of different principles um, to bind the sample and label it for relative light unit detection. Um, and different principles are utilised depending on the array because Randox offer arrays for varying clinical, therapeutic, toxicology, even food diagnostic areas. So the first two principles um, are ELISA immunoassay type principles. Um, some arrays will use a sandwich immunoassay, meaning that the more analyte present in a sample, the more conjugate that will bind to form a sandwich complex. And in this way, biomarker concentration is directly proportional to the amount of light signal generated. Whereas other arrays use a competitive immunoassay technique, where more analyte present in a sample, the less labelled conjugate will bind to the reaction site. So in this instance, your biomarker concentration is inversely related to the light signal. More recently, Randox has created molecular-based arrays where we're not hybridizing an antibody at each DTR, but we're actually hybridizing a certain oligonucleotide sequence. And this allows us to detect for an array of pathogens and co-infections in biological samples. It allows us to um, detect mutations in genes of interest or specific genotype um, at jaw to genotype patients at a specific single nucleotide polymorphism level. So um, these principles of an analyte binding to a specific DTR on the biochip allows us to unlock an enormous multiplex potential. So rather than screening for a um, standard drugs of abuse panel, we have created a biochip array with an extensive range of drugs of abuse tests so that you can get this information from one sample at once. And so we know now that one biochip allows us to multiplex test for one patient sample and that is good but multiplexing for multiple patients at a time is even better and that's why Randox has created this biochip carrier here. Um, with nine biochips inserted into one carrier. And this allows us to work with nine patient samples at once. And that is exactly how we use biochips manually. We perform all the steps with the biochip carrier, um, including nine biochips, so nine patient samples. Um, and this is how the manual process would look. So you would add your reagents, your diluent and your sample, you would incubate your samples, you would perform your wash steps, um, and then at which point you would remove your carrier from the tray if you're using multiple carriers at a time. You would add your signal reagent, our luminol peroxidase, and then that creates your 
uh, light output at each discrete test region, which is then quantified by your charge coupled device inside the evidence investigator to translate this relative light unit into your um, analyte desired unit. But what if then we can omit all of the manual steps to biochip array technology and create a fully automated biochip array technology? Um, so Sylvia is now going to take you through exactly how we have managed to do this and the types of instruments available for fully automated biochip array technology. Thank you, Claudia. Hi, everyone. I'm Sylvia. So today, the first fully automatic biochip analyzer I want to introduce to you guys today is our Evidence Plus. So some of you may be familiar with our um, the older versions called Evidence, which looks pretty much similar, but white color. So this one is Evidence Plus is the modified and improved versions of our Evidence with a higher throughput. So you can see in the pictures in here, one biochip carrier, it has a nine wells like Claudia introduced, and one well is for one sample. So 10 of the biochip carrier, they can load and stack into one cassette. So one whole cassette can hold up to 90 of the sample. So this is a very high throughput analyzer, which capable of running 120 samples per hour, which equals to 5,000 in um, 5,280 test results. So it's really suitable for the high throughput laboratory. Um, it also provides an increased efficiency for your laboratory with the first result being generated as little as 45 minutes. So um, I believe many of you are from different kind of background, but sometimes you definitely will overcome a problem that you only get a very small volume of sample, but you still need to split your sample with the other team or department, then in this case, our biotrip analyzers will be a benefit because a minimum sample volume is required. Only 6 to 150 microliter is needed. So this evidence is an efficient, precise, and cost-effective solution that can seamlessly combine multiplex testing with high throughput capability. So let's look into the detail inside the evidence plus. So in here, um, sample one, um, the sample units inside this black sliding um, glass, it can carry up to 180 samples. And then the bottom part here is our bulk reagents unit at the bottom. So the laboratory technician can easily replace the reagent carrier, um, the reagent container, because sometimes they can be quite heavy. So for example, the washing buffer. And move on to the next session is our cassette collection, <clears throat> also at the bottom. So the cassette I just showed it to you in here, once it finished the run, it will drop to the bottom here. Come, um, then you can collect them and then throw them away. Um, so for the number four is our cassette loading tower. You can load up to four cassettes together, so which has a 360 bio chips in total. The bottom part here is our refrigerated um, reagent store unit. You can put up to 16 of reagents which in there. And we also have the bar cook on the reagents and the signal usage calculation will be included. So it can reduce the human error, such as the typing error, but it can also reduce the possibility of using the incorrect um, reagents, allowing a truly effective end-to-end -end solution. Um, the last one is our biohazard waste collections units. So all the sample um, buffer and reagents, they will be discarded into here after the whole run. So the whole process is very simple. So you first need to load your sample in here. Then you can put the cassette, put your reagent in here. Then you can start the run, you can walk away. Um, later on, I will show you a short video to demonstrate the whole process. So that is it for our user step. The instrument start itself to do the whole run. However, I still want to like briefly take you through what's happening inside the analyzer during your walk away time. So after you load everything, the durant um, sample and conjugate will dispense into the biochip well. 
and then incubate, followed by the washing process. After that, the signal reagents will dispense into the biochips. And lastly, it will load into the image box and the camera aluminum signal will be measured by the charge couple camera, which is the high quality scientific camera. Then you can review all of your results in the computer. And here I'm gonna show you a quick video, see how the whole process run in the reality. So oh, yeah, this is the video that you can use it in the laboratory in the reality. I hope this video can show to you how simple the whole process is. As you can see, there's only one person to operate the whole machine. So you can save your laboratory staff to focus on a more important quality control stuff in the laboratory. So we have talked about the technology and the analyzer. Now you definitely want to know what exactly the analyzer or array can be run on this um, analyzer. Because I know all of you are from different background and laboratory. Um, so when we launch this analyzer, it starts from a toxicology based core lab. This analyzer were used in those like high throughput specialist laboratory. However, since this technology and the analyzer have been performed very well, and we got a lot of interest outside the toxicology laboratory. So now this technology and analyzer can be used in a wide range of area, not just the toxicology or forensic. So on your screen here, these are the drug of use array that people have been using for many years. And we have many array and cover different kinds of analyze. And the sample type you can use with this array can be blood, urine, or saliva. But because we have a very limited time today, so I can't go through each single array. So um, we have a toxic um, drug of use ultra, array one plus, two, three, four. We also have a specific um, array for the new psychoactive substance. And this is our most comprehensive array called drug abuse blockbuster, which cover a total 42 of drug abuse. So now you may think about like how we QC the array, how we know that it's in the correct positions, because in reality, you won't see any of the difference to single spot. They are all white colored. So here's an example of our array called Ultra. Um, here is just a demonstration of the um, the number here, but in reality, there will be no number. So um, when we manufacturers and design this biochip, we assign a certain spot as a correction spot and the reference spots, which are the purple spots in the screen you can see here. And other white color spots, um, they are for the drug testing. For example, the spot number one here is for um, is part with the antibody that specifically tests for the oscodot one. So like I mentioned before, we are very excited that this technology is not just limited to toxicology and forensics. 
So if you have this analyzer in your laboratory, you can do the drug test. But now we also offer the cytokine array for clinical diagnostic, which is the most commonly request cytokine panel in Australia and also around the whole world. So this biochip contains 12 of the most um, common cytokine and the growth factor that is suitable for either clinical use because it's CD mark or for research use. Another popular array, Rangdox, we also offer a thyroid array. It can simultaneously detect three major thyroid hormones from a single patient sample. This allows for the screening and monitor of the hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism. It can test for the TT4, TT3, and the TSH. Then in general speaking, um, a positive result is achieved using at least two independent methods. First is the screening, but it is not time and cost effective if we send all the samples to confirmatory tests. So commonly we will do the screening test with, for example, the urine deep cut, the ELISA kit, or a small point of care analyzer, or the lab-based analyzers we introduced today, the evidence plus. So once you get a positive result from your screening process, then you need to confirm it with the LC-MS-MS. However, as we all know, to operate a LC-MS-MS, it requires specially trained scientists and it can be costly to run and maintain. So that's why a screening tools with a high sensitivity and specificity is very important. The ideal situation is the screening tool can screen multiple analyze at the same time it can reduce the false positive results and save the time and money for running the confirmatory test on the LC MS MS. And our evidence plus do have a very high agreement to the LC MS MS. So here's just a one, um, one of the example of the research that are comparing our evidence anal um, analysis against the LC MS MS. In this research, there is 680 sample were tests first with our evidence then they confirm it with the LC-MS-MS. So the results show a very high agreement between two methods. The overall sensitivity is nearly 88% and the specificity were nearly 100%. So not just compared to the LC-MS or GC-MS, uh, our Rangdox evidence also compare with other widely used instruments in the laboratory across the world. So similar research, they do the screening test with three instruments, including the Rangdox evidence, Siemens and Albert's instruments. If the result come back positive, they will confirm the test with the GCMS or LCMSMS. And the conclusion is the Rangdox evidence were able to screen more variety of drug abuse and we are the, first, um, the best screening accurate methods for detections of drug abuse compared to the other instruments in the research. And we also have example of the case study in um, Latvia, the Riga Center for the Psychiatry Additional Medicines. So this laboratory received many samples in um, all parts of the Latvia. And since 2013, they have been doing a lot of routine tests using our evidence. They use the drug abuse and the new psychoactive substance array. And the results of their whole are all of their work always discussed in their um, regional conference and as well as the meeting of the International Association of Forensic Toxicologists. So the screen testing of the uh, using our array gives them a possibility to increase the list of drugs to be analyzed and most importantly improving their testing quality and save a lot of time that they can release the results much quicker. So other than this lab-based instrument, uh, my colleague Sama is going to introduce our point of care testing analyzer using the same technology. And another most, uh, most exciting thing is we have a new analyzer coming out very soon. Yeah, thank you, Sylvia, for this. So I will now take you through our multi-stat analyzer. So our multi-stat analyzer is the smallest instrument in our evidence series and it's suitable to use at the point of care in a wide range of settings, such as for workplace drug abuse testing at mining sites, airports, uh, police stations, and also farms for milk testing as well. 
And as it is designed to be used at the point of care, you can place this instrument at mobile testing services without the need for a technical service, as the instrument will recalibrate itself automatically to realign the camera inside after being transported around. And there is no sample prep needed for this instrument, so all you need to do is to add your sample into the circular well at the bottom of the cartridge here, and then put this cartridge into the analyzer and press the play button on the touch screen and the analyzer will run on itself. So because it's so easy to use, um, no staff with no laboratory training can also easily use this analyzer. So ranging from workplace managers to overnight or part-time staff in labs or even milk tanker drivers in the food industry can also use this analyzer. And the results are available in just 17 minutes and can test for 29 analytes simultaneously in our Toxplex panel. And although the multisat is capable of testing for a wide range of matrices, but for point of care testing, we would be mostly looking at whole blood, urine, oral fluid and milk samples as outlined in the bottom. So included in, with your multisat instrument at no extra cost and full access to all the features is its own dedicated software. So this software you can see on the screen has a very intuitive and easy to use interface that's password secured to ensure data integrity as well as the ability to search for previous results. And you can see labeled number one and four here at the top of the screen. That um, is your complete patient profiling, which includes the number of analytes detected and things like your cartridge and your sample ID that you can scan in using a barcode scanner. And also the date and time for when your test sample is run. And then moving on to the main part of the screen here, is your test result displayed in a simple table with your analyte and also its qualitative result, as well as its cutoff values displayed beside it. As mentioned before, each user have their own login details for data integrity and also the ability to search for previous results here at the bottom. And finally, labeled number six here at the side, the Multisat has Lim's connectivity for you to easily export or print your results to bring to review or audit meetings. So here is the test menu across the clinical food and toxicology testing. And you can see listed here, we have our stroke array panel here at the top here, which tests for eight biomarkers for rapid stroke classification in under 30 minutes from a single plasma sample. We also have our Infiniplex for milk screening here and also test screens for 130 compounds simultaneously in just 17 minutes. And lastly, for toxicology at the bottom, we have a range of drugs abuse arrays for urine, oral fluid and whole blood samples. And whilst we do have many different arrays available on the multistat, different parts of the world, as you all know, have different regulations and requirements for acceptable maximum residue levels. And therefore, I would also like to introduce our Toxplex array, which is particularly suitable for the APAX region due to its ability for customization when you run the samples on the day, depending on your requirements, as well as helping you meet changing regulations. So the Toxplex offers simultaneous screening, as mentioned before, for 29 analytes and can give semi-quantitative results in line with customizable cutoff values that you can set yourself to suit your needs. And as we all may know, the Australian cutoffs could be different to EU and Japan cutoff levels, for example. So you can adjust those levels accordingly, according to your local requirements or if regulations do change. And with the Toxplex array, you can actually get up to 58 results in under 30 minutes, as you can run two of the samples at once per cartridge using urine samples. And here's just a quick video on how to run the Multistat and its application in the toxicology industry.
is also a short case study of a hospital lab in Italy, and they have actually both the evidence and the multi-cell analyzers in their central lab to monitor car crash patients using whole blood, urine, and even hair samples. And overall, they have described the drugs of abuse panel as very useful to them to facilitate diagnosis or decision making in a very short amount of time. And moving on to some exciting news and not to, to give some insight into a big project from our R&D team, I want to introduce everyone to our new Randox Discovery Analyzer. It is currently in phase three of the manufacturing process and final stage validations will be completed by the end of the year. And here is a short promotional video which shows us what the discovery looks like and where the tip boxes and the caddies are and how the robotic arms move in each of the chambers. Labs nowadays move more and more towards fully automated systems, especially as we've all seen during COVID, the amount of workflow and the steps required to carry out all of those tests. We have used our biochip array technology to design a revolutionary analyzer capable of consolidating molecular and immunoassay testing onto a single benchtop platform. It's a very easy to use analyzer with a minimal 10 to 15 minute setup time and allows increased walkaway time for your lab by automating the entire molecular diagnostic process from your extraction through the amplification and subsequent detection. The discovery has a rapid turnaround time of three hours for the first batch of results and then results for subsequent batches every hour after this. By using multiplex testing capabilities, this allows for complete patient profiling, which reduces the amount of time spent on individual tests and can identify co-infections, differentiate between pathogens that exhibit similar symptoms, and eliminates the need to run multiple time-consuming and sample-intensive assays. The question that we get asked a lot is, how does it manage contamination? Well, this is successfully done by the physical isolation of the instrument in the three key modules you can see in the diagram on the left. So the system flows from your right onto your left and starting on your left, so you have a module one, your lysis and your extraction, and then your PCR amplification in the middle. And then finally, you have your hybridization and detection in zone three on the left. There are also physical doors between each of the chambers to prevent contamination and built in UV lights pictured here on the right for decontamination after your runs. And just to show where everything goes again, the extraction and the lysis caddies along with the cartridges will be loaded in zone one here on the right. And then you have your PCR quadrant and then your cartridges in the middle. And then finally, you have your biochip caddy and cartridges on the left. And in terms of our test menu for the discovery, we have used the in extensive data from the COVID test to trial and validate the instrument. But as you can see on the screen here, the purple test menus are what is currently in development. And there is a wide range of potential arrays for molecular immunoassay and toxicology testing using the biochip array technology. It's also exciting to announce that the STI and UTI panels are also due to release soon with CE marks early next year. And now moving on to the local support we have across the Asia Pacific region. We are fortunate to have such a large team of technical experts in Randox across the globe, including a dedicated technical staff across Australia, Hong Kong and India to support you locally, as well as our core technical team at HQ in the UK. So you can actually have 24 hour access to our technical support wherever, whenever you need it. And even if it's during an overnight shift or any emergency support, which hopefully you will not need, but it is available if you do. 
And then finally, just to go through some frequently asked questions. So the first question here is, are these instruments CE marked and TGA registered? So yes, all of our instruments shown are or will be CE marked and TGA registered upon release for the ones that are still in development. And are these instruments suitable for point of care or laboratory settings? So for point of care, we have our multi-sat analyzer. And then for labs, we have the evidence plus and the discovery. And then the third question, is there specialized training required to use the biochip array technology? Then no, anyone with little to no laboratory experience and knowledge can easily use this technology, but we will still offer dedicated technical training and support when the instrument is installed on site to ensure you're familiar and comfortable with using the biochip and the analyzer. And next we have, what is the ordering process? So once we've received an order for an instrument, we will conduct a site survey to assess the suitability of your site for the analyzer. And once this is completed the, and the order is through, we will send out an engineer to help you install the instrument at your site and to provide the initial training as well. So who can use these instruments? As mentioned before, anyone with little to no laboratory training can use these analyzers, and we have applications across clinical toxicology and food diagnostics, ranging from hospital labs and emergency departments to airports, mining and farming sites as well. And lastly, how is QC and calibration managed? So each of the little biochips have built in QC and calibration spots among the discrete testing regions, as Claudia mentioned earlier. So you can see pictured on the right and highlighted in the blue spots here are your QCs and calibrators. And the software for the analyzer also includes uh, QC charts and calibration curves. So everything you need is already included with the instrument at no additional or hidden costs. So thank you all so much for joining our webinar today. And here are some of our contact information on the screen. And feel free to contact your local representative if you have any questions or pop them in the chat box now, or if you like any additional information at all. So do we have any questions in the chat box right now? No, I can't see any summer. No no, that's worries. okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, everyone, thanks very much again on behalf of us and Randox for attending today. And yes, these are our contacts, so feel free to reach out if you do want any um, further information. Um, but we will post the link to this webinar um, shortly afterwards.